joining us this week is a personal gift from Steve Forbes. Of course, Mr. Forbes on the show last week. He believes in free markets, capitalism, enterprise, entrepreneurship, the flat tax, all things that I advocate as well. And uh, so we, that's, that's why the tie's here. All right, here's our panel joining us from Washington, D.C., held over. Held over for, for the previous segment is Keith Kotler. Keith is from the White House Dossier website, whitehousedossier.com. Keith has been covering the White House for 16 years now. So, Keith, uh, we'll be part of our panel. Good to see you held over from the previous segment. Thanks. Great to be here. And joining us here in our Southern California studio is Jim Chilton. Uh, Jim brings a very, very interesting uh, background and perspective. Uh, you're the CEO, founder of an organization called Financial Coach Enterprises. Uh, you hire a lot of people from the military veterans into uh, insurance and financial services. Yep. You deal with clients who are concerned about their financial future. Uh, something that's happening pretty, pretty, uh, you know, that's a problem in this in this administration, under this administration, I should say, the financial uh, security. And you're part of the insur insurance industry, so it's interesting having you here today. Uh, also, to uh, Jim's uh, left, ideologically and literally, way left, as he uh, as he often is, as you say, you're, you're left to uh, President Barack Obama. Is legal analyst and criminal defense attorney Alan Bloom. Good to see you, Alan. Hi. All right, let's continue uh, with a topic that I spoke with Keith earlier in the uh, show, and we talked about throughout. I want to get your take on this. I I am outraged as the, as the uh, as the um, viewers are aware, not just outraged. We're seeing something, uh, gentlemen, we haven't seen in any of our lifetimes. I am. Cons I, I have no doubt in my mind. Faded breath. What are we talking about? Uh, we're talking about the White House calling insurance executives and telling them, shut your mouth. Don't uh, uh, criticize Obamacare. The implication being, if you do. You don't think this happened in every administration? All right. So let's go. Okay. Uh, <laughs> That's a drive. I, I, right. I'm outraged by it, let's, too. Let's I just talk, don't let's, think it. All right. So, so that our, our panelist on the left, Keith, says that rhetorically, don't you think this happened in every administration? You've been covering the White House for 16 years. You are a better qualified uh, professional to answer that question than I am. Give us your take on that question. I'm thinking. I'm going through my 16 years. Dick Nixon. Alan, can you tell us when this happened? I'm just talking about if you don't years. think intimidation came from the Nixon administration, that doesn't exist. And my recollection is Nixon was Republican. So you are – that was more than 16 oh, so, years ago. Yes, I agree. That goes back a little bit more. And I yeah, don't but know you agree this is on a level of Richard Nixon. Yeah, if there is, if this is true, and those and those folks from the from the White House made these calls and said, you put a spin on this, lie about it, don't tell it like it really is. That's disgusting. Obama' whole thing was to come out here and for, and to be transparent. The one thing that's right. that got it. And if and, and when I, sometimes you say I'm way to the left of Obama, and I really am, but we meet at the back right. end sometimes. Right. And this is one of those times where he's if if this really happened, if it really happened, it's disgusting. Did you see the report by CNN on this? I did see the report. Okay. Okay. I did see see it, but they were reporting, I, I mean, uh, it was an early report, it might really have happened, and you can put a spin on it in the other way, too. But, but if it, it really happened, it's just wrong. Isn't it suspicious and odd that that the insurance executives have been quiet while getting uh, getting arrows and daggers thrown at them? The, the, every, the, this, I don't know how quiet they have been or not been. I know the they emphasis been. has been on the fact that he can't even, we can't, this administration can't figure out how to get a website out. Of course, no. he's not supposed to build a website. All right, before but we, I have a solution. I, I know ahead. exactly why he couldn't build a website. He put all the smart people on stealing our information over at NSA. <laughs> and so we had no information. So they're all over doing that. And as you said, Alan Bloom, the left and the right on extreme ends meet at the center and the back. If, 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 this is, if this is accurate, are you saying that he's at Dick Nixon uh, levels? If this is accurate, this is reminiscent of a, of a Nixon White House. There's no question. Let's go to Jim Chilton. Jim, um, you, as, as Alan said, oh, he can't get a website right. You've got a very good explanation why you believe he can't get a website well, I think it's very. I think it's very obvious now. We have leadership uh, taking place from people that have never even owned or ran a lemonade stand. And the incompetence continues to roll forward. What? I mean, we ought to have the circus music going and, on and, while this stuff is happening. And why do you think they can't get the insurance? You're coming from the insurance industry, financial services. You're a CEO, financial coach, enterprise. Why do you think they can't get the insurance uh, solutions? 
done properly. Because I don't think the thing has been thought out from the very beginning. Well, I'm, I'm sure heard. they didn't get the insurance stuff done right. I'm not convinced of that yet at all. Okay. I know they can't build oh, a website man. properly. That's obvious. I mean, yeah, but they, wait, they, wait, wait. It's not about the website. It shouldn't be. We yeah. can pick one thing after another. And, and I hear what you're saying, but let me share with you this. This is not political stuff always. This comes down to basic uh, understanding and, and using competence to get something done. This stuff should have been tested years ago. And it should have been evolving up to a point of a proper rollout. Rolling out something that these so-called experts are under the gun and it comes out as amateur night in the arena yep. has nothing to do with There's being some, independent. Let, let's, let's go to Alan, uh, not Alan, let's go to uh, Keith Koffler in, in D.C. Keith, we heard Alan say, look, if, in, or putting uh, quote marks around the word if, if this report by CNN is accurate, then it is at Dick Nixon levels. I agree. Uh, if you watch the show throughout, I'm outraged. I'm, I'm, I'm fighting mad over it. You're there in D.C. You've been covering the White House for 16 years. What's your take on how accurate do you believe this reporting by CNN is on this story? Well, I mean, first of all, I want to say about Alan that I'm really glad to hear him say that. I mean, one thing that even people way to the right and way to the left should have is a strong agreement that freedom of speech is the foundation of this nation. So, you know, so often in Washington, I hear people just reflexively say, oh, Obama's right no matter what it is, Dem when, you know, when they're uh, among Democrats and liberals. So it's really refreshing to hear him say something like that. Oh, I hate be that very thing, much in Chris. agreement on that. Yeah, uh, no, well, it's, it's real praise because I, I think that uh, an exchange of real ideas is, is what's lacking all the time. Just don't tell anybody that, but, that we agree you know, on something. Right. I, I don't mean to hurt whatever you know, whatever business you're in. I, I know your friends won't be uh, won't be happy about that. Um, but uh, but but what was the original question? So the question is <laughs> how how accurate you, how fearful are you that this report oh, by story, CNN yeah. is real? Yes. Well, I mean that's I mean CNN doesn't really stand for the conservative news network. I mean you know they you know they tend to to bear a little bit to the left. I think not quite like MSNBC and. Uh, you know, I think the investigative reporter on this is a good reporter. Yeah, but, and, but uh, he's, I think Keith, he's just probably, saying. Well, there's let him probably finish. a lot of credence to be given to this. But he's just reporting what, what he's just reporting what he's been told. What I'm saying is, you have an industry spokesman in the insurance biz, uh, field saying that they've received this intimidation. And it, I mean, it could be a phone call that's, that could be nothing more than saying, you know, if you put this spin on it, it's going to be bad. If you put this spin on, it's going to be good. I don't yeah, think CNN would run with it. But, but Alan, Alan, if, if I could just say one thing about that, I mean. I mean, yes, but first of all, he quotes other sources. He says he had background sources. Second of all, if you're a reporter at the White House, you know that this is the M.O. of this White House. Uh, it's worse than any previous White House. They call reporters, for example, yell at them all the time, try to suppress their stories. Anything that's bad for Obama, they're on the phone screaming with all kind of, uh, uh, of nasty language, uh, uh, trying to intimidate and bully them. I'm not surprised at all that now they're doing it to the insurance agency. To the it, insurance it, it, I'm going to find a final word in this segment, and we'll continue on the other side. What this is, I'm, I'm convinced, I don't think Alan is, that this is big government with disinterested bureaucrats, so-called experts in Washington. So-called. Believing they know better than pri the private sector and individuals. You know, it's it's kind of it's kind of off color. We had the video earlier, John McAfee of McAfee uh, Software Antivirus. Uh, did you hear what his interview was? No. He said that the Obamacare website is a hacker's wet dream. We had I the know. video earlier. Yeah. This is nothing more than bureaucrats in Washington who are I, I keep phrasing it over disinterested experts. Oh, we know better than the private sector. That, 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 the, the private sector is greedy. All right. I'm Rick Amato. We'll continue more with our grassroots citizen panel right after this. I enjoy podcasts.